my dad once told me that someday water would be more valuable than oil. And I can see that coming up in the future. Right now, business is unbelievable. The farmers, they're going crazy right now. They cannot get enough wells. We're booked up for about 12 to 13 months. The state of California has very few regulations on groundwater and groundwater pumping. In fact, we're one of the freest states as far as that goes. You can pump your well as hard as you want, take as much water out as you want, and it doesn't matter what you're doing to the neighbors. So it's kind of the wild west here. The depths of the wells are always increasing every year. We see it more and more. Uh, right now, a lot of our, our wells are anywhere from 800 to about 1,200 feet. The wells are gonna have to keep do going deeper because that's the only choice we got is to chase the water down. It all follows down basically to no water, higher our cost, the higher it is for milk, and it just kind of trickles down. I don't even know if we're going to get water out of it. It's just a risky take basically, I guess. We have about seven drill rigs. Most of the rigs are running 24 hours. This equipment is extremely high maintenance. It's a very specialized item to run. You've got to be able to feel what the rig's doing, listen to it moan and groan, and just kind of knowing the limitations of it. Right now, there's no statewide plan to measure how much groundwater we're pumping. We have to be really careful with balances. We don't want to pump out more groundwater than is recharged to a basin. And we're learning that lesson the hard way. You know, these farmers don't have a choice. If they don't drill wells, they can't farm. If they can't farm, they can't feed California. And California feeds the world. People that live in the city don't even know the drought exists. They turn their faucet on, they've got water. No big deal, they don't see the problem. When they go to the market this winter, they could see a big difference. Today I was talking to the farmer and he says, hey, can you sneak in another well for me? I just lost another one. And I hear that through all my customers. Everybody's losing wells. They can't keep spending two to $400,000 on a thousand foot well to pump water with. You know, somebody's going to have to pick the cost up sooner or later. I think it would be called worse than a boom. It's so hectic right now. You're always go, 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 go. If I get three, four hours a night of sleep, I'm tickled to death. You're pushing the equipment, and I'm not the only one. Every driller around is doing the same thing. They're pushing their equipment right to the limits. You know, what are you going to do? Go let it breaks. When it breaks, you fix it and go again. There's a lot of stuff in the world you can live without, but water is the one thing you cannot live without. So I can see someday where it is going to be a very precious commodity. It's almost there now. <laughs>